In today's video, I want to introduce one of the best and most accurate trend indicator that I found on TradingView platform. Just make sure you watch this video until the end because I'm going to teach you a profitable trading strategy based on this indicator. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. All right, to add this amazing indicator to our chart, here we click on indicators and we search trend flex oscillator. This one, which is an editor specs indicator and written by someone named Immortal Freedom. All right, this is the indicator and as you can see, it's added here below the chart. It's an oscillator and fluctuating above and below the center line which is zero. This indicator was originally formulated by Dr. John Ehlers and it's an excellent oscillator for evaluating momentum and direction of the market. This white line that you see here is trend flex line and depending on being above or below the center line, it has a background color. When it's above zero, it's pink and when it's below zero, it becomes blue. We have also this red dotted line which is the upper threshold and it's setting at 1 and we have this green dotted line which is the lower threshold and setting at minus 1. Similar to any other oscillator when the indicator is above the center line it shows that the price is advancing and when the indicator is below center line it shows that the market is declining. So center line crossovers can give us signals on the reversal points of the market like what happened here. But we can have also false center line crossovers and this can happen a lot especially during pullbacks. For example here this center line crossover was just because of this pullback this was also because of this pullback and this one was a correct reversal signal and after that as you can see we are in a downtrend and the indicator remained below the center line please pay attention that these false center line crossovers can also happen during non-trending markets which if you're using a trend following strategy and you're going to focus on these kinds of signals you need to filter false signals during flat markets so center line crossovers alone are not reliable signals and we need to filter the bad signals which I'll explain later. These upper and lower threshold help us to know when we have overbought or oversold conditions. If you look at this part where the price is advancing, you can clearly see that whenever the price reaches to or goes above the upper threshold, the price slowed down and we had a small reverse which in these cases a pullback form on the chart as you can see. And after this overbought here, we had a correct reversal on the direction of the trend. Similarly, when the price is declining whenever the indicator reaches to or goes below the lower threshold you can see that the price slowed down and we had a small reverse which in these cases they were just a pullback so similar to other oscillators this oscillator can also be used for identifying overbought and oversold conditions all right now let me show you a trading strategy that you can filter the false signals and only take the signals that are in the current trend of the market here we click on indicators and we search cci this one on commodity channel index and we need to change its settings here for cci length we set it at 100 so it will help us to know about the current trend of the market when cci is above center line it shows that the market is trending up and when cci is below center line it shows that the market is trending down so in times that cci is above zero we only take bullish center line crossovers we don't take bearish center line crossovers because cci is above center line and telling us that the market is trending up and taking these signals are against the current direction of the market so in this situation where cci is above zero when this indicator reaches to or goes below the center line it can be a sign that a pullback is forming on the chart we must wait and see if it crosses back above center line or not in this case you can see that it happened here and cci is still above zero so the buy signal is confirmed and we can enter a long position here at this point when the new candle is opened the stop loss below the previous swing low and the profit at 1.5 risk to reward ratio after this trade here again we had the indicator below the center line while cci is above zero and then it crossed back above the center line here at this point so the buy signal is confirmed and we can enter a long position here as the new candle is opened the stop loss for this trade is placed below the previous swing low and this is also a profitable trade as you can see moving on the chart here the indicator went below the center line but it couldn't cross back above the center line as you can see because a reversal is happening in the 
the market. And CCI is also changing direction. No false signals here during this reversal process. And from here, CCI went below the center line. And it's telling us that the market is trending down. In this situation, we wait for the times that the indicator reaches to or goes above the center line. And we must wait until it crosses back below the center line. So here the sell signal is confirmed and we can enter a short position at this point where this new candle is opened. The stop loss above the previous swing high and as you can see it's a profitable trade where the price declined down to this point. Another short position signal we had here where the indicator reached to center line and again went down. CCI is still below center line so the sell signal is confirmed and we could enter a short position here at this point where the new candle was opened and we continue like this. Please pay attention that in times that a reversal is happening or in times that the market is not trending you can encounter false signals. You can filter the false signals of non-trending markets by the help of indicators like ADX but it can be in the cost of also losing some good trading opportunities. The most effective way is price action analysis which in a separate video I will completely explain about this subject. The important point that you must pay attention is that no trading strategy can give you 100% guaranteed signals and you need to manage your risk so you can protect your trading account. There is a risk management strategy which is called 1% rule and is one of the best risk management strategy to use. I have a complete guide on this. The link is also placed in the description and just make sure that you watch it because without a proper risk management strategy you cannot become a successful trader. All right that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions feel free to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new video. See you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.